Firstly, I'm going to demonstrate for those who are machine users. Then after, I'll demonstrate for those who are not. But before I start, it's worth mentioning that you should check native access to see where your files are placed on your computer. As you can see here, mine are placed on an external drive called Lacy. So there are a few ways to access your files. Locate them in the top left-hand corner of machine in the library and files pane. The library pane is specific to everything native instruments. So you have all projects here, then you have all groups, all sounds, all instruments, your sound effects, all loops, and your one shots. The files pane on your computer is where all of your sounds and samples and documents and files are. As I mentioned a few moments ago about going to native access first, so I can see the file path of my samples, here my Lacy drive is in the files pane. When I click and select my Lacy drive, I'll be able to see all of my expansion kits. When I click any one of these folders, I will be presented with projects, groups, sounds, and samples. I want to select the samples folder where I will see drums, loops, and one shots. And as I click each folder, I have drums for drums. And lastly, loops where we have the construction kits. Double click to go into the construction kit. And here I can see all of my expansion kits that are in the group tab in the library pane. When I double click on a kit, I have access to combos, the drums and the full beat with all instruments added together. Often at times I find samples and their corresponding folders this way. I'll go ahead and drag any sound onto a pad. Once on a pad, I'll make sure to select the sample window and then I'll go over to edit. Once I'm in the sample window with the sample loaded, I could then right click, then select find in finder. If you're not a machine user, you can simply access the kits via a finder window on your computer. Here I select Lacey, as I mentioned earlier, this is where all of my expansion kits are. And you simply can just go through the folders, navigate through them, and you can find your kits from your construction folder and all of the sounds inside of them. Okay guys, if this was helpful to you, I'd appreciate if you drop a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already and I'll be seeing you in the next one.